Ooh, here we are at the Flying Can Ranch. <coughs> this is my second run of this video. I forgot to mention a few things, so we'll get with it. I'm going to talk a little louder. It's kind of windy out here, but it's a great day. We had a cold, cold snap down here for a little while. What we got here, <coughs> excuse me, is the Walther PPQ M2 pellet rifle. Yes, pellet, not BB. So we'll look at here, get it up there kind of close spin around you can look around the other side and then we're going to go through the specs real quick so this is a 177 caliber pellet pistol co2 it fires out at about 380 feet per second it does have a rifle barrel overall weight they say is about 1.40 that's a 20 round belt fed magazine the sights, rear sights, are elevation only, and we're going to go over this real quick. So, it is a blowback, so it will lock like that, but it does not lock open after the last shot. So, you've got to remember that. It's got a good hefty feel, feels very, very, this does, this feels very good in my hand. So, again, on this side, give me one second here, I want to do something, this is a little live. I already got a CO2 and I was going to show you something here, but I'm sure you guys know how to do it. We'll go over it anyway. On this side, you can rock that back, lock it if you choose to do so, and release it. On this side, in your other level, it's in safe mode now. If you push that little, there's a little button right there. You just kind of push it and it pops right up into that little red dot. That's your fire mode. Back down is safe. Push your little button right back up. The sights just have the rear sight elevation only again. Just has the little dots right here. Yeah. Okay. Um, just the little dots are not fiber optic. Same thing with the front blade. Also not fiber optic. Just a little white dot on it. Um, I played with this thing a little bit today, and I am very impressed. You do have a little rail right here that you can put your laser light on if you want to pump it up a little bit. I personally think a couple things here is this would make a really great training pistol. One thing I didn't like about this is I could have recessed that back a little bit so you couldn't right just see the little... The little barrel that kind of adds the authenticity in my opinion but it is what it is again this would make a great training pistol it's got some good stippling right around the grip and then we'll get to another point here we're going to pop this clip out magazine i'm sorry some people get touchy about that or one of my viewers told me there's a little belt right here on the side and there's a little Kind of like a little slide button so you push that in and that will expose your little belt right here and then you, it loads up for like two at a time it's a little tricky to get the hang of this but it's not bad you put one in you put another one in and then you can just kind of pinch it or catch it with your thumbnail move it down just a hair and then i don't know if i had that on the video you can just kind of, I could have probably done this inside, a little shadow today. You put a clip one in, and you put one in, and you move it again, and we're just going to load this up real quick, because I actually shot a couple of things on my last video to uh, show something. Okay, so we're loaded back up. Now, once you're loaded back up, Kind of put your finger right here and then kind of push that thing. You're going to have to push down on the belt maybe just a hair. And there you go. That keeps the little pellets in their place when you slip that little slide plate back in. So I found you got to kind of hold the belt down just a little bit and you'll slide it and then you're back in business. Now CO2, I want to show you something back to the gun. There's just a little slot right here at the back. You just kind of catch it with your finger, and that pops out, and there's your wrench for your CO2. Now, I already have a CO2 in this, but I'll show you that 
all you have to do is there's your co2 in it is just take a little plate slide it down and then you can take your wrench and insert your co2 and then you just close this back up this will go back in the gun if you're in a suburban area I wouldn't advise blasting this off. It's a little loud. I'll, I'll give you a sound thing here in just a second. There you go. So you know right there, she's a little noisy. I'm very impressed with this so far. Uh, the last video I tried to make, I had a little problem getting the fire, but that was the way I was putting the clip in. I caught onto what I did. I corrected it. This would make a really excellent training pistol all the way around. It'd be super. It's very realistic. It feels very weighty in the hand. Not as heavy as some of the, uh, the replica ones I have because I'm really into these replica guns, old ones, new ones. I got another one in uh, last night. We might talk about that later on today or tomorrow. Older one, a little cross one. But this really is nice. It's cut real good. It looks... You know, if I, uh, if I put it next to the actual gun, I think you would really pick up on it. It doesn't have all that wild white printing all over on it. Just a little Walther symbol right there. And uh, I'm very impressed with it so far. I like the way it feels. I like that grip that folds right into my hand. may not fold into others. For my size, I actually have kind of small hands. One smaller than the other one, in case you noticed. I don't want to talk about it. But it feels good in the hand. It's easy to aim. Uh, like I said, an excellent training pistol. I do believe you can field strip this. I haven't tried it yet. But I've watched a couple of videos where it looks like some guys have done it. But all in all, I think you'd be very impressed if you had it. I'm impressed with it. I'm going to put together a shooting video later on this afternoon. Might even use a guest shooter. We'll see how it turns out. But that's how we do it at the Plan Can Ranch. Flap. Let's get rolling.